Great Escape is one of Six Flags' smaller parks, operating with six roller coasters in Queensbury, New York, kind of near Lake George. It's a family park, so they don't have too many thrill attractions, but we recently learned of the closure of one of their signature attractions, Alpine Bobsled. This was an Intamin bobsled that opened in 1998, relocated from Six Flags Great America, and before that, Six Flags Great Adventure. So the attraction's actually been around since 1984, it's closing Labor Day weekend, and in its place is going to be a brand new wooden roller coaster from the Gravity Group called Bobcat. At least we're assuming it's going in Bobsled's plot of land. It would certainly makes sense. You can literally reuse that station and fit in that coaster perfectly in that plot of land. You have the lift hill and drop closest to the pathway, have the turnaround at the far end be where the current lift hill drops off on Alpine Bobsled. You wouldn't disturb the go-karts or anything. So you're replacing a family coaster with a family coaster, which is going to do really well at this park, and it is a custom layout for the most part. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But this isn't a park that's been receiving a ton of investment when it comes to roller coasters. The last roller coaster they added was Frankie's Mine Train in 2005, and that's a little kid's coaster. The last time they added a roller coaster with a custom layout was 2003 with Canyon Blaster. So they are long overdue. Bobcat will be the first time they're adding a roller coaster in almost 20 years. So uh, hopefully the next time they add a roller coaster, it won't be quite as long as this gap was. But this will be the second wooden roller coaster in the park after Comet. This is going to be a tamer version of that. So it should complement it quite nicely. I mean, we're definitely looking at the number one and two coasters in the park now with Bobcat. Because the only other attractions they have here are a Mine Train, a Boomerang, and then Steam and Demon, which is just absolutely terrible. I would rather Steam and Demon close than Bobsled, but whatever. We can take that one out next. So let's talk about this ride. We got a height of 55 feet, top speed almost 40 miles per hour, so probably like 38, 39. Track length 1,412 feet. We've seen many Gravity Group family coasters open up around the world at this point. These things are a ton of fun, and there's not one like super close by. Both Sesame Place and Storyland, which have Gravity Group family coasters, are about four hours from Great Escape. And of course, they offer different layouts. The only family coaster that's going to have a similar layout to this is located in southern France at Walby Rhone Alps. It's called Timber. And when I say it's similar, I mean it is almost a clone. We have a couple slight differences. They both have the same height, feature that turn into a drop. Timber descends at 59 degrees, so I imagine Bobcat will do the same. The airtime that immediately follows is going to be the same. On Timber, you go into this tiny airtime hill before going into a twisted double up. And on Bobcat, they just bypass that first hill and go straight straight into the double up. This whole turnaround is going to be the same as well as that big airtime hill. On timber, that gives a lot of floater air, whereas most of the other smaller hills send you up like sharply out of your seat as ejector airtime. So it's nice that they break it up a bit. I like that they kept that moment. But what is going to be a little bit different on Bobcat is that hill is the start of a double down. So you'll step down and then do a turn into your brake run. On Timber, after that big airtime hill, you have two smaller hills, which at first sounds like a bummer that they're removing two other airtime hills, but on Timber, that's where you hit a trim break. So those last two hills don't do much anyways. So this is going to keep all of the best parts of Timber and just do a slightly modified ending. And when I rode Timber, I said, you know, I think that's my favorite Gravity Group family coaster, even with that trim being pretty annoying. So, now we're going to get the same type of ride, but without the trim, this thing is going to be awesome. It's going to be super re-rideable, one that everyone in the family is going to be able to enjoy. Anyone above 48 inches can ride. Riders of 42 inches can also ride it, as long as they're with a responsible adult. And it's going to give the park ejector airtime, which is something that they don't have. Don't underestimate these rides. They're not tall, they're not fast, but they are so enjoyable. I think it's going to do really nicely at this park, even if it probably wouldn't have been my first choice. Personally, I think they need a really good standout steel coaster, even if it's not a custom layout. A ride like a Skyrocket 2 or a Raptor from RMC would do really well here. But hopefully that's whatever comes next after they inevitably take out Steam and Demon, but it might still be a couple years. One thing at a time, I'm really happy they're building this ride. It's going to be New York's first wooden roller coaster since 1999, and I know it's going to get a lot more people wanting to visit Great Escape, because for the longest time, this park felt forgotten, which is a shame because it's actually really charming, and I I really enjoyed my one visit here. But now they're getting this, I tell you what, I'll definitely be visiting again in the near future. So let me know down in the comments what you think of Bobcat coming to Great Escape. If you agree with the points that I brought up, let me know what you're most looking forward to. And of course, stay tuned for more analyses here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.